rock and rollers of the world. What's up? It's Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio. And hey, this is a video that I'm doing in conjunction with my friends at Guitar World magazine. It's a demo and review of the Vox Valve Energy range of pedals. So there's four pedals in the series. I used them all on that track at the beginning of the video, which was really like three little tracks put together with segues in between. But let's talk about what's similar about these pedals first. Number one, they're all meant to capture the tones of classic tube amplifiers. Number two, they use new tube technology. So what's that? Well, putting on my glasses looking like a professor so I can read for you. These products are designed with a new tube at the heart of the circuitry, providing the response and harmonic distortion that are typical of a vacuum tube. Proprietary design allows these pedals to be used for a variety of purposes. More on that in just a sec. The nine volt power supply voltage is boosted to 15 volts, and this is used to drive all of the analog circuitry. Uh, that gives ample gain in headroom, delivering a more dynamic sound. Okay, so they all capture the tone of a different amplifier, and there's uh, differences between them all for sure, but let's talk about what's the same first. They all use the new tube, as well as they all have this mode switch on them. Now this is really cool. The mode switch allows you to switch the pedal between standard mode, which is like you use it like a standard pedal in front of an amp, Preamp mode allows you to use this as a preamp, so you can run into a power amp or maybe right into an amp's effects return, and this becomes the amplifier preamp, essentially. When you're in preamp mode, if you've got more than one of these on a pedal board, you can link them using an eighth, uh, a little, a little eighth inch jack right here with a cable, and then when you turn one on, the other will turn off. So it's kind of like having channel switching. Let's say if you've got a Marshall-y one like the Copperhead here and a Voxy one like the Mystic Drive, hit the on-off switch for the Marshall-y one, the box goes off, hit this one, this one goes off. Make sense? Pretty cool. Now there's one more mode on the mode switch and that's cab mode. So it's got a built-in cab sim. So right into a recording interface or right into a PA system. I mean, think of the possibilities. It's like if you got to do a pedal board based rig or maybe your amp goes down at the gig. If you've got one of these on your board while you're covered, you can come straight out, switch it into cab mode, go into the PA and the pedal saves the day. Or for just practicing late at night, maybe through you know a little home recording rig or something like that, it's a no brainer. Okay, so let's talk about the individual pedals now and the tones that I found. Uh, in using them on that track at the beginning of the video. The first one up, the Mystic Edge. This might be my favorite out of the whole group of pedals. I plugged it in right away, got a terrific sound. This is meant to capture the classic AC30 tones, and I've never heard my PT100 honestly sound so much like an AC30, and that's a really useful thing for me because I love that sound. So instantly when I turned it on, you heard it right at the beginning of the video, use a crystal clean, very, you know, sort of fendery, straight up clean sound, turned it on, and you heard the harmonics come in, got a little bit edgy, a little bit of grind, and had the tonal characteristic and kind of balance of the classic AC30 sound, I think. Controls on this pedal are a volume, a gain, a two-way bright switch, and then you've got a bass, a cut, just like you would find on a Vox to cut the top end, and a treble control. So I dialed in this pedal uh, for the first tone. Um, I had the bright switch on my amp on. I had the bright on the pedal off, and I dialed the cut up a little ways and kind of, you know, treble somewhere around halfway, and I got a super clear, chimey tone right out of the gate. Let's check out what that sound sounds like, soloed out of the mix. <laughs> For the second tone in that track, um, I wanted to turn the bright switch on the pedal on. So I turned the bright on my amp off, and then I reconfigured the controls and stuff. And right away I noticed when I turned the bright on the pedal on, it gets a little gainier, chimier, more harmonics and stuff. Not just a bright switch. Seems to like, yeah, the gain gets bumped up a little bit and everything gets a little juicier. So let's check out the tone that I did with the pedal set like that.
Now for the solo in that first little part of music where I used this, I actually used the cab setting and uh, just came straight out of the pedal and right into my recording interface. And I got a really cool tone. I think the contrasted really well actually with the two rhythm guitars. So let's check out what that sounds like. This is guitar straight into the pedal, right into my recording interface, nothing else in the chain. Okay, I lied a little bit. I think I had my Echoplex pedal on because I was running into my pedal board, but that's the only other thing that I had on for that part. Pretty cool, right? Running direct, but pretty damn credible. I liked it. Okay, so moving on to the next part. Uh, let's get into the Copperhead Drive. So this is a much more martially affair. Now, I found this pedal, generally speaking, liked my amplifier with the bright switch off. Kind of a more neutral kind of clean sound. The controls on the pedal are a volume, a gain, you get a bright switch, and then you get a three band EQ, a bass, middle, and treble. And I just dialed it up for a tough JCM 800 style sort of rhythm tone. Let's check out what that sounds like. <laughs> For the lead part in that piece of music uh, where I was using this for the rhythm, I decided what I would do is switch it up a little bit because I did a double with this and panned them hard left and right. And I wanted to hear as well what the silk drive sounded like. So I used this. This one is a much more sort of boutique American kind of uh, sound. I think they're going for the dumbly thing. So a little bit softer around the edges, a little bit smoother on the top end, lots of gain and all that, but like not high gain, like a metal type of sound or anything like that. More like that blues lawyer sound. Sound. You know what I'm talking about. And it did that sound really, really, really well. So let's check out what the solo sounded like that I played with this pedal outside of the mix. Pretty cool. It's aggressive, but it's got a smoother, you know, top edge to it than, say, the Copperhead does. D different sound for sure. Um, this pedal has a bright switch, volume, gain, bass, middle, and treble as well. Now, probably the biggest contrast was the next pedal. Um, this one is the Cutting Edge. So this one was much more high gain, American voiced, uh, but like that metal thing. I'm not sure exactly what amp they were going for with this. Could be Rectifier, could be Soldano, I'm not exactly sure. But anyways, it got into that territory and really did a credible job. Uh, a little bit different on the controls on this pedal. As opposed to a bright switch, you get a tight control. So that allows you to kind of clean up the subby low end and if you want real tight palm mutes, you just dial up that tight control a little bit past noon and it's super cool. It just dials in the chunk and keeps it tight when you're palm muting. Other controls, three band EQ, bass, middle, treble, and you get a volume and gain. Now for the first part that I cut with this, I had the bright switch on my amp off. So it was real neutral and I dialed up the pedal for a real full kind of like just balanced high gain distortion. Let's check out what that sounds like. For the second part I cut with this pedal, I kicked on the bright on the amp and instantly I had to dial back the treble on the pedal, but I was able to dial it down quite a bit and get an actually really cool tone. Had a little bit more aggressive top end for sure than the other part that I did with it, but it was cool and I dug it. Uh, I cut the mids a little bit as well and decided to bump up the bass and went for a, a more scooped kind of aggressive sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now to do the solo, I decided the one thing that I hadn't done yet was try one of these pedals in preamp mode. So I switched the, the switch to preamp mode, and then I took the line out of the pedal straight into the effect return of my PT100 amp, and that's how I cut the solo. I dialed the mids up a ways, dialed the gain up about, I don't know, maybe three quarters of the way up or something like that. Got a gainy, really cool solo tone, so let's check that out. Pretty damn good, right? Pedal works great into the power section of an amp uh, using it as a preamp. And you could of course run straight into something like a MOS valve power amp or maybe a tube power amp as well, or the effect return of whatever amplifier you've got and this becomes your preamp. Thanks for watching my video on the Vox Valve Energy series of pedals. Sorry I can't show you more tones, but that's probably enough for, for one video and I would think you get pretty much a good idea of what each one of these pedals do as well as the features that are consistent across the range of pedals. I think my two favorites, um, you can probably guess this, were the Mystic Edge really killer Vox tones and I'm going to find this useful I think maybe in my own rig as well as the Cutting Edge. Uh, this pedal really great for metal tones it just seemed really friendly no matter how I set my amp I could dial it in within 30 seconds or something and get a cool tone as well as using it as a preamp straight into my amps effects return. And the other two are no slouches either. Both these pedals sounded great as well, and I was able to dial in really cool, credible tones quite quickly. So you can check out the whole Vox Valve Energy series of pedals at the link down in the video description below. Click there and it'll take you to the Vox website, and you can check them out further. Please check out my friends at Guitar World Magazine as well. I put their link down in the video description below. Please hit subscribe if you haven't. Hit the little bell beside the subscribe. You will get an alert whenever I put out a new video. And hey, come back and see me real soon. I am Pete Thorne. Take care, you guys. See ya.